We're here in Houston at Sarah Week, a very important uh, week-long event that the IEF is participating in. Every day we're hosting roundtables with stakeholders from all different diverse uh, backgrounds and positions to talk about the energy transition and to try to develop a new and more uh, inclusive consensus, I think, on the energy transition. I think one of the things that the energy crisis has uh, taught us is that the transition is a lot more complex than what we thought maybe two years ago. And I think the crisis is also generating a more well-informed observations and uh, even among uh, government leaders who energy may not have been their main focus, but now it's a big focus for their countries and for their consumers, so they have to focus on it. So I think uh, the energy crisis has helped elevate uh, the, the debate to be more constructive, I think. We're seeing it here, I think, with energy companies coming to the table with uh, solutions. They finally feel, I think, that they're part of the discussion. Previously, you know, they were, they were not allowed in the room, which I think was a big mistake. I think uh, we need energy companies to help solve these problems. They're, they're big companies that are accustomed to doing big projects, lots of engineering talent and human capital. They do a lot of energy R&D and clean energy R&D, and technology is what's going to solve this. But they're big companies, so they can help us scale up the solutions. And so that's why it's very important to be here at Sarah Week to meet with these uh, companies. There's uh, you know, definitely people uh, from the environmental community here that are engaging in, I think, a very constructive uh, discussion. And, and I, I think the IF is very pleased to be a part of it with our Global Energy Solutions Initiative.